the local orientation of Istanbul. It's located right here. And if you're arriving to Istanbul, you're probably going to arrive at the airport, the Atatürk Airport, which is located right here. The area of interest, if you're a tourist, if you're visiting for a day or two, is actually right here, like this historical part of Istanbul, and also possibly here. There's some interesting things that are happening. So let's first talk about how you're going to get from the airport to the downtown area. Istanbul is a huge city. It's overly populated and has lots of traffic. So I'd recommend you take public transit unless you have heavy luggage. Here's the map of the public transit of the Istanbul. And the best way to get to downtown is first take this red line. Let's zoom in here a little bit. From the airport to the station called Zeytinburnu. You're going to see the same map inside the train. You can also get a free copy at the information booth at the airport. Right here, you're going to get off and you're going to transfer to this blue thing, which is a tram. Um, the thing about Istanbul Metro is that transfers are not free. So when you buy your tokens here, buy two so that you have a token to transfer. You can probably get an additional one here, but you don't know. You're not going to want to waste time. The tokens cost 4 Turkish Liras. So when you get here, you're going to transfer to the tram, you're going to pay another token, and you're going to take the tram to the direction of Kabatas. I got off at the station, Semberlitas. So, okay, so take from here to here, transfer, and go to the historic part. If you're staying somewhere here, the tram is going to take you there as well. And you're actually going to see a lot of sites along the way. Okay, this is the kind of the main square. And you see a couple of Egyptian columns. That's the Blue Mosque right there. All the sites are here. So this is the Blue Mosque. This is the Basilica Cicern. This one right here is really nice, but I haven't been. I really like this park right here. Definitely, definitely Grand Bazaar. Yes, kind of looks like that. Very nice architecture, well restored. And then another place I really liked is this this one right here, which is Spice Bazaar. The Turkish delight I got here was super nice. It's spices and all kinds of stuff like that. Then, uh, you know, walking this bridge, Galata Bridge, takes you to this other nice neighborhood. Galata Tower is up on the hill. So that's what I did for one day in Istanbul. I walked around this area right here, stayed in the hotel here, walked across this bridge and walked around here a little bit. I hear Taksim was really nice for partying, but I was jet lagged, so I didn't stay stay up late and uh, didn't check it out. There's some some food places. Well, you can, you can research it yourself. Hopefully this uh, gives you a nice orientation around Istanbul and you're gonna go and explore it for yourself. Have fun there!